Wearable tech is on everyone's mind. I'm Dan Graziano, filling in for Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. According to a report from Paul Thurot, Microsoft will enter the wearable market later this year. However, rather than a watch, the company is reportedly working on a fitness tracker. The device is set to be priced and designed similar to the $200 Samsung Gear Fit. Like other fitness trackers, the device will track your steps, calories burned, distance traveled, and heart rate. It will likely include a color screen and will go beyond fitness tracking to display notifications from your smartphone. But unlike most wearables on the market, the tracker will work with Android, iOS, and Windows Phone devices. It will reportedly be available in the fourth quarter of this year. It seems like everyone is doing a smartwatch these days. First it was Samsung, then you had LG, and remember those pesky iWatch rumors that just won't go away? But this isn't Microsoft's first wearable device. The company actually teamed up with Fossil and other watchmakers and released a smartwatch way back in 2004 called the Microsoft Spot. But let's hope things go a little better for Microsoft this time around. In other news, a Goldman Sachs contractor accidentally swapped at gs.com for at gmail.com and sent an email with confidential client data to a random person. With no luck, the investment banking firm reached out to Google and asked the company to delete the email. Google was willing to cooperate, but only if there was a court order. This led Goldman Sachs to the New York Supreme Court. Google has since blocked access to the email in question, but this is a stark reminder that we all agreed to Google's terms, and the company can access our emails. At least this time, there was a court order. Most people aren't aware, however, that there's a nifty feature in Gmail called Undo Send. This allows you to undo an email a couple of seconds after you've sent it. The feature can be enabled by going to Settings, clicking on Labs, and selecting Undo Send. And finally, it's back. The cult comedy Community has been renewed for a sixth season, but not on NBC. The network pulled the plug on the comedy earlier this year. Instead, Yahoo has renewed the series for 13 new episodes. The new season will air this fall exclusively on Yahoo's video platform known as Yahoo Screen. It appears the internet giant is following in the footsteps of Netflix. Speaking of Netflix, the streaming service has removed a total of 79 titles from its US library. This includes classics like Taxi Driver and the Rocky series. Netflix also added more than 50 new movies and TV shows like hit titles such as Mean Girls, The Karate Kid, and Boys in the Hood. That's your tech news update. You can get more details on these stories at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Dan Graziano.